Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Bryce from BIS Media, and I'm back to tell you all about the LG UBK80 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray player. I'll show you guys what comes inside the box, and I'll give you my thoughts in terms of pros and cons of this player to let you know if I think it's worth your hard-earned dollars. But before we dive into the unboxing, if you're new to the channel, I'd like to say welcome. If you enjoy home theater content, physical media unboxings, tech reviews, and much, much more, then consider hitting that subscribe button, liking this video to get this out to more people, and clicking that notification bell to be notified of my future videos. All right, so let's not waste any more time. We've got the intro out the way, so let's find out what comes inside the box. All right, so we are now looking on the outside of the box, and the outside of the box is Pretty bare bones for the most part, it just says LG 4K Blu-ray player with the model number. And it does have all the badges of the different things that it does support. So it does have 4K, Blu-ray, DVD, CD, and 3D Blu-ray, which is very interesting as this is a budget 4K player. And just the bottom of it here is just the same thing as the top. So let's go ahead and try to open this thing up and see what it all comes with. And the box itself is pretty light, nothing too heavy, so it is pretty easy just to kind of carry around and open it up here. So the first thing is the manual and the batteries for the remote. So it is great that it does have a paper manual. Then here is the remote itself, which is pretty small for the most part and lightweight as well. And then the player itself, it just has two styrofoam ends and a styrofoam plastic that does go around it. So it's pretty easy to unbox this one, nothing too crazy you have to do with it. And the player itself, I honestly really like the design of it. It has a sleek black look to it. It's almost like a machine metal on top of it. And then the friend does have four buttons itself. It does have an open button. It does have a pause play, a stop button, and the power button. And they are all, they're all they uh, all raised embossed uh, buttons. So that way you can, you can actually fill them. They're popped out. So you can actually fill them. makes it a little bit easier to differentiate each one of those. And then it does have a USB also on the front. And then switching over to the back, the back is pretty bare bones for the most part. Uh, the only things it does have is an ethernet port, it does have an HDMI out, and it does have a digital audio out, so that way if you wanted to connect it to a soundbar or your receiver that way, you definitely can. And then of course, the power cable as well. So all right guys, that is the full unboxing of this player. Let's go ahead and jump into the review and see what my thoughts are on this player. Okay, so we've seen what all comes inside the box of this player, so it's time to discuss how well this player performs. And they can be completely upfront, I've been very impressed, especially at its price point. Which, speaking of price point, leads me to the first pro of this player, which is the MSRP price. The LG UBK80 is one of the cheapest 4K players on the market, and it serves as a great entry into the 4K world. In today's economy, every price can make or break the bank, so saving a bit of money is always welcome, and its features should more than satisfy the average enthusiast. As of this video, the UBK80 is priced at $175 to $180 at Amazon and Best Buy respectively, which isn't bad considering the vast majority of 4K players are over $200 plus tax. So if you've been living in the early 2000s with DVDs or 2010s with your regular Blu-rays and you're ready to make the jump, then this pro may play a big part in your decision. The second pro honestly caught me completely by surprise, and that being the loading times. Now I've reviewed several Blu-ray players on my channel and this one takes the cake in terms of loading times. Whether it be a 4K Blu-ray or a regular Blu-ray, it loads at under 10 seconds, which is insanely fast. Now this could be because it doesn't port all the formats out there, meaning it has less information to read, but we'll get back into the format playback capability later. The third pro was also a surprise for me, and it's the build and design. With the UBK80 being one of the cheapest 4K players on the market, I was expecting a thin, cheap plastic bezel for the outer shell, but just my surprise, it feels sturdy and has one of the best finishes I've seen so far. The casing is plastic, but it's not flimsy and it has a decent weight to it and it has a beautiful brush metal finish on the top. It really stands out to me. And the front buttons are also nice and they're embossed to stick out just enough for you to differentiate between them all. It is missing a digital readout, but for the price and the nice finish, it's easier for me to overlook this and enjoy it in the moment. And then to finish up the pros, the fourth being simple and easy. 
if you want something that's you know plug and play, then you'll definitely love this player. It took me less than 10 minutes to get it set up and running, and the brief setup itself is a breeze. You don't need to be a tech whiz to operate this player, and I think this is a great beginner 4K player to get into the game without breaking the bank. On the flip side, however, this player is so basic that it's missing many features this competitors offer, and that's what will lead us to the cons. So the first con is the features and formats. And this applies in a couple of areas. The player only recognizes one HDR format, and that being HDR10. It does not play back in HDR10+, or Dolby Vision, the latter being my personal favorite, so this is a big con for me. The player is also lacking features in the general settings menu, which I'll cover in a later video in depth. The UBK80 does not have an internet browser, app support, or wireless internet, so an ethernet cable is needed for Blu-ray Live features, if anyone uses those. <laughs> There's little to no tinkering with this player, which is a double-edged sword, because it's much more user-friendly, but then you also can't do much to maximize your experience at the same time. But we'll say on the flip side of this con that it does support Adobe Atmos and DTSHD for sound, so it's not a total loss on supported formats. The second con pertains to the secondary part to this player, which is the OEM remote. The UBK80's remote is very small, uninspired, and it's not backlit. It does work well and do its job, but since it's so small, I often press other buttons on accident or couldn't see what was needing to be pressed throughout playback. It feels very light and cheap in your hands, but for the price you're paying for this player, the remote is not a huge surprise to me. Most of the time, you can purchase a third-party upgrade to offset this con, but it will be an additional cost you'll have to be willing to pay. The third con is the most troubling thing for me, and it's a slight stuttering issue. I noticed this happen on a 4K disc, in a Blu-ray in the midst of normal playback, and I liken this to a frame rate drop in a video game. Black Adam was the 4K disc I tested, and there was a fast-paced action sequence toward the third act of the film, which seemingly jump-skipped a second on the screen. The sound didn't cut out or become distorted, the visual just didn't seem to be able to keep up with the action, and stuttered and skipped to the final frame of the scene. Again, this was literally only a second, and if I wasn't playing close attention, then probably wouldn't have noticed it, but it's still concerning that it happened nonetheless. Could this gradually get worse over time, or is this just the normal thing for this LG's processor? It's definitely something to think about. So that concludes this review in terms of pros and cons, which ultimately leaves us with a few questions. Do the cons outweigh the pros? Is this worth picking up if you're new to the 4K market? And would I recommend this player overall? Before I give you my thoughts, be sure to drop a comment on what you think of this player and if you'll be picking up this one down below. Personally, I think this is a great entry into 4K UHDs, but I'd be a little worried about the stuttering issue and I'd test out a fair amount of movies within your return window just in case your model does the same exact thing. If it wasn't for that issue, I'd have no problem 100% recommending this player because it's cheap, has great visuals, and has insanely fast loading times. It may come down to your model that you receive and or the studying issue, if that's something you'd even notice. If you'd like to pick up this player and support the channel, I have my Amazon affiliate link in the description and pinned comment, which is no extra cost to you, and I'd greatly appreciate it. With all that being said, this, bring this, this brings this video to a close, so leave me a comment with your thoughts, smash the like button if this was helpful for you, and hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for all my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.